Shalom Aleichem, sisters and brothers, how are you doing? Just a small tip, a small advice. In every day we're facing new challenges and new difficulties. I told that story a few times, but I think it's important to tell it again. There was one person who was working um, uh, for a cleaning company in a certain place, in a certain building. Every morning he would wake up early and trying to, and trying to do his job properly, fixing and cleaning the tables, the floor, every detail that was in the office, filthy and unclean from yesterday, he was supposed to put it back into its place. One day he came and he saw that yesterday night probably there was a huge party in that place, in that building. He wanted to fix it, he wanted to do it all in a very fast um, timing, he didn't want it to be late. And he worked for 45 minutes fixing everything, putting all the garbage in the bags and the tables to their places, chairs to their places, everything to its spot, cleaned all the things. After 45 minutes, he finished doing his job. The office looked clean and neat and fine. Everything was good. He went to a small room to put his head to relax for a little bit. He had another one hour and five minutes before opening. And he wanted to rest a little bit, closed his eyes, opened his eyes after five minutes, went out of that small room. Suddenly he see a mess, everything like chaos around him, all the tables upside down, like someone just played with him like all the chairs everything like it was when he just arrived like a wild party took place in that room could not understand how did it happen start cursing and swearing all over the place what's going on is someone fooling me he looked at the watch he had another one hour to finish the job he didn't know what to do didn't want to lose his job decided that he will take responsibility on that whatever takes to clean it and ran like crazy, fixed all the tables to their spots, the chairs, put the garbage to the bags, everything, cleaned the tables, cleaned the floor, everything. In 35 minutes he finished his job, he had another 25 minutes to for opening. He was devastated and weak and like broken, went to that small room, closed his eyes to relax a little bit from that mess and opened his eyes after five minutes, came out of that small room and he sees a mess. He sees the whole mess all over the place, all over again. Like someone is tricking him, like on camera. Um, 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 I don't know how you say that. Like, uh, like that someone is uh, joking him on camera. And he looked at the watch, he has another 20 minutes, like crazy, without breath, even not cursing, even not swearing, nothing just running like crazy, fixing everything back to its spot, back to its place, all the garbage to the bags, tables to their places, chairs to their places. Without, out of breath, in 20 minutes, he finished cleaning the office, putting everything back, back to its place, breathing, trying to relax again, to bring back his breath. And then he tries to walk to that main door to open it for, for the public, for the workers to come into the place. And something is weird. He cannot find the entrance door. He starts going back to that room that he was sleeping. He wanted maybe to find a place of like some answer. Maybe we'll understand what's going on. And then he realized that every time that he closed his eyes in that small room, he actually fell asleep in the elevator. And every time he woke up in another floor, and he cleaned three different floor instead of cleaning the same one three times as he assumed. In our lives, many times we think that we are repeating our work and that we have to do everything all over again, but that is not the truth. Every day is a new floor. Every test and every challenge in our lives is a new level. And we must understand that the Creator is creating the world in the present time and now you have a mission now you need to pass that mission now you have a job now you need to serve and to work and to do the best that you can and you should not compare this day with yesterday or to think that tomorrow will be even worse you don't know you can never know you might gain the jackpot today you might win the lottery tomorrow you might lose god forbid everything in a second if you're not going to work hard if you're not going to do the best that you can in any moment, 
in every test, in every situation in life. We are here in the present time to serve the Creator that His name is Havaya, may He be blessed. The meaning of the word Havaya is the present time, that He is the blessed presence and He is the now, the blessed now, the reality of our life, the only truth that there is, that now we need to do good and to be good, not to look back on our pasts and not to look like crazy on the future, just to live the current time with the holiest heart, with the purest intention to do the greatest actions and deeds that we can with the right mindset aimed to the right target to serve Hashem with a happy heart, with a wishing soul. And may His light shine upon us all to rise and shine, to be true believers and to experience and enjoy the great complete redemption in our days. Amen. May it be His will. Amen.